Hey guys, Room Picker here from that lock picking video, and today I got another challenge lock for you. This one's from Steel Pinnings, and we're picking the Play Ball Challenge Lock, and we're using the Challenge Lock Saturday hashtag. Now, this lock came to us with the key unmummified, so we can take a look at the bidding. You can see we have some pretty good Challenge Lock bidding, pretty traditional for a Challenge Lock, a lot of highs and lows. <coughs> and um, it's hard to see. But looks like on this key right here, he engraved like a smiley face with his tongue sticking out. And on this side, he engraved his signature uh, steel pinnings. If I can get that, there we go. So the S and the P in his calligraphy fashion. And then on this tag, you can see it says steel pinnings with his calligraphy fashion. And it says play ball and at the bottom here it says 12 12 19 I'm assuming that's the date that he created the lock <coughs> and on this lock I don't know what keyway it is he didn't carve anything on this faceplate but you can see he carved the steel pinnings signature here and he carved play ball right here so hopefully you guys can see that I know it's kind of bright in here Does that make it any better? No. Okay. Eventually I'm going to figure out this camera thing, guys. So let's go ahead and get this in the vise. We're going to use standard hook 20 thousandths, hook 7 from Peterson, and I think 50 thousandths. That's 40. We'll use 50 thousandths pry bar. <coughs> Snug. It's good in there. And let's pick this clockwise. Start off our standard hook. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Four. Yep, pin four. Click on pin four. Click on pin five. Nothing on six. <clears throat> Let's try our deep hook. Oh, good false set. Horrible movement. Oh, there we go. Pin one, and we got it. Not too bad of a pick. Pretty easy. And that, my friends, is why it's better to. Unless you have a key that severely violates max, you know, I would mummify this key because just by looking at this, you can see how fast we got into the lock. But pick is a pick, so let's go ahead and get this open. Get these out of the way. And it looks like we got to take this cover off the back. Push this pin down. Oop, spring shot it up. Spring is out. <clears throat> Let's get our shim. Again, thank you, Dusty, for the shims. Oh, probably should turn this first. Key is right here. Key does work. I don't know if I showed that or not. 90 degrees. I think that's that is good right there. And I wonder what core, maybe this one, this one too big. No, it looks about to be the right size. There we go, got it. Uh, 
and let's see what we got. He did fill the trap holes on this, which is interesting, but I assume if he filled these trap holes, whoops, if he filled these trap holes, that means that he has T-pins on the, on the core. <coughs> One and two are standard. That's pin four is also standard. I have a feeling, based on our what we've seen so far, all of these are going to be standard. Which means that, yeah. So interesting enough. Oh, you know what? I bet you when he okay. So one has nothing in it. Two has. Um, undercuts it looks like it looks like he undercut the chamber three has undercuts four nothing five has threading and six has nothing now <clears throat> based on what we were talking about earlier about these all being standard that leads me to believe that he has sharp serrations on these on uh, two three and five to play from the driver pins that'll play with this because he's not getting any play with the with that from these. So let's go ahead and take this out. Probably take the shim out now. One, is standard with like a serrated top on it, two, <coughs> sorry guys my allergies are flaring up, standard with two serrations on it, the pin one only has one serration, pin two has two serrations. Three has a serrated top. Four is very thin, very, very thin serrated. Don't want to lose. Was there no spring in chamber six? Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay, there is. Phew. <coughs> Based off of my last episode, I was concerned that I lost. This one's... You know, I'm going to leave that one in there. It's, it's pretty well stuck in there. I don't want to break the spring. Organize this. And we'll get out our Hellman's platform, and you guys can take a look and see what we're dealing with. Get the key in here. So, again, chamber six has a spring, but it's stuck in the Bible. I can't get it out without pretty severely ripping it out of there so I don't want to pursue that any further <coughs> now the way I have these organized these serrations are actually this is just the way it came out of the Bible when I took it out but these serrations are actually um, I probably should organize it differently actually this is the portion that this is the portion that actually touches the key pin so all these serrations are actually touching these key pins which is important because you'll see in these hopefully if my camera will focus and not be crap for once, um, these undercuts and serrations in here. So uh, two, three, and five. So two, three, and five are the ones that have play in the bi in the core that play with these driver pins. And then you can see on these on this one, he plugged all the trap holes here. So. 
pretty fun lock. You can see with the higher reaches, it can be tricky, but it is possible with our hook seven. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna definitely send this off to someone else. If you want to try this lock out, give a comment below, like, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.